When I sit with the billionaires in Puerto Rico, I ask them, what's your one piece of advice? Health, 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 health. Oh, All of them. Yeah. All of them. That's the difference between a peasant and a king. Bro, do you think the peasants ate the same food that the kings ate? No. Do you think they got the same education the kings did? No. There you go. On purpose. Gotta keep people weak, dumb, and alone, bro. Bro, bro, even I was telling him, this is why this is why I appreciate the Tate fam. They do everything together as a squad. When was the last time when you were in school that they put you in problem solving methodology in a group scenario? They don't. They want to keep you isolated, dumb, alone, yeah, afraid, true. naked, gross, depressed, suicidal, GMOs, fat as fuck, yeah. angry. It's absolutely insane. So yeah, dude, Hold on. I'm telling you, G. Oh. Tell, tell me more, bro. I'm telling you, G, we gotta fix this shit because it's not, it, and this is something I'm big on on entrepreneurship, bro, is like health and wellness, dude, because it's like Tristan just said, bro, if you ain't alive, you fucked up. What can I actually eat? Because bro, my diet is terrible, bro. Like, I eat it every single day. You know, the thing is though, you ask these questions, I feel like you already know the basic answers. Mm -hmm. You eat McDonald's every day. You know not to do that. So you're trying to get into the specifics yeah. without covering the basics, you know yeah. what I mean? It's like when people yeah. care about fitness, they're like, okay, what's the exact correct technique to lift this and lift that? People who don't train at all, just go running and do some push-ups. Everyone knows like the answers. Mm. Step one, stop eating McDonald's every day. Yeah. Like that, that, once you do that, worry more about the exact specifics of what you're eating and what you're not. What I, what, I would say is, what I would say something's really good is always being conscientious of what you eat. So. At all times in my life, I have some sort of dietary restriction, right? So I diet, I limit some sort of thing. So right now, like I, I, I limit high fructose corn syrup, like processed sugars. I don't do any of that garbage. I don't do caffeine. So I limit my my diet. Why? So every time I eat, I'm I'm conscious, bro. Think about the most basic, common things that everybody has: eating, sleeping, exercising. The most basic element. When was the last time, bro, that you were like, I feel hungry? I'm not gonna eat. I'm gonna diet. I'm gonna fast. On a plane, I can move. So let me tell you this one, bro. What if what you're experiencing isn't actual hunger? What if what you're experiencing is addiction? Holy shit! You're right. Because you're training your brain, bro. Like your body. Wait, wait, wait. Don't look hold on, hold on. But like my my lifestyle, like I'm always like out and about. I'm never yeah. really home to like cook. So you like have to be home and cooking, bro. It's about being aware. Like maybe when you feel like mm, I'm gonna go to McDonald's or I'm gonna go to Taco Bell. Maybe it's not that you're hungry, maybe your body's craving the poison, bro. What if the food is designed specifically to make you an addict? And that is a perfect example, Coca-Cola. Is Coke, would you say it's sweet or is it salty? Sweet. Perfect. Guess how much sodium is in Coca-Cola? A lot. Why? Because it's addictive. Only, not only that, why? What does salt do? It makes you thirsty, bro. It dehydrates you and makes you drink more. They purposely put a lot of salt, sodium in it, for you to get thirsty to drink more, and then they put sugar to cover it up. I'll give you I'll give you an example, another one. Gatorade, right? We talk about electrolytes and it boosts you up. Do you know that when they're putting it into the actual plastic bottles, it's boiling hot. And what is boiling plastic, right? Boiling hot water or liquid in plastic do? It dissolves the plastic into microplastic. Into the into the, into the drink. So you're Why drinking you plastic. Drink Gatorade, then? Microplastics, dude. And there's petroleum based ingredients in it as well, a lot of stuff. You know it's a perfect example of like Okay, you know what? That's why we don't vape, we don't do any of that shit, bro. Okay, I, I do hookah occasionally, but it's not the best. Let's be devil's advocate here. Yeah. All right.